BlackShellGames.com. What's up, Rock Flock? This is the Master Gamer Rockhawk64, welcoming you to my next fan game Saturday project. This is Sanctuary RPG, created by Black Shell Games. As you can see, this has a very interesting art style to it. It's uh, ASCII art, for those of you that know um, what ASCII art is. Um, so because of the simplicity of the game, you can see that the sidebar is very simple in and of itself. So um, we're going to stand on this menu while I talk about exactly how I'm going to run this project. Um, most of the other Sanctuary RPG movies that are videos that are out there that from Bla where Black Shells ask other YouTubers to cover them. Um, most of them just look at what the different characters do. What I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to pick a character and go through the entire story. Uh, you can see where I have been playing this from before, getting used to the game and all that. Uh, so it's like a, those old choose-your-own-adventure games. Um, if you pay attention to the bottom, you can see where it's taking my input. You just, for example, these menus, like for example, one or two to continue, and then you press back. Um, now we're actually going to play as the Paladin class, so I'm just going to do a new Paladin and overload, overwrite my character. So yes. NOBODY UNDERSTANDS THE ANGSTY PALADIN! NOBODY! NOT EVEN SPUDS! Despite all your rage, you are still just a rat of a page. You still remember that time you embarrassed yourself as a kid. Deep down, you wish monsters would just leave you to sulk in peace. And then anytime you see like an X or an 8 or... Th there's, there'll be various things in green in the background map area. Um, you press that and then you press enter. And you're walking in. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go over the detailed perks. So, when my MP is above 50%, I regenerate 5% health per turn. When I have more than half of my magic, or mana points. Um, health regeneration is doubled if my rage meter is maxed. So basically, if I have full health and above 50% magic, I'll regenerate 10% HP. Um, Riphost will heal half of damage dealt, which is... Riphost is a move that is unique to the Paladins. Uh, regenerate health equal to four times each magic point spent. So like, if I cast a spell that's eight magic points, I'll gain 32 HP. Uh, 20, gain 20 MP when attacked when barrier is active. Um, gain additional damage from points in Wisdom and Intelligence. So basically, being if I invest in Wisdom and Intelligence, I'll also deal a little bit more damage. Uh, heals are 5% more effective. Just going to press a key here. 10% uh, damage to shock an enemy when attacked while Barrier is active. This game, for some reason, has an obsession with potatoes. Uh, blocking attacks deals 100% of the wep of my weapon damage to an enemy. So basically, be like I attacked them. Um, I have a 10% NA chance to block enemy attacks, and for each reposition, I regain 40 mana, which is a thing. Just like this little tutorial battle that's gonna explain everything. Uh, I'm a guy. I hope character name Brutus, as usual. No augment. I'm going to play on softcore, uh, because death really is just a setback, so that'll let me go through the story. Um, let's see. Each of these obviously does a different, uh, has different effects. I play more of a tanky style, and the paladin can be, is kind of like a more of a mixed style. Um, if you choose from Northern Ariat, you basically have more magic, I believe. Central Tyriel um, gives you more damage, and Southern Syria gives you more of a defensive thing. So I'm going to go for a defensive thing. Let's see, and then they obviously, each class has its own, well, each race has its own benefits. 
for example, the first one, uh, well, you guys can read this. I'm going to read through this real quick. I'm actually going to go with number two because that um, poison immunity is going to be valuable. So we are going to watch this intro cinematic, which you guys will remember from the trailer that I put out a while ago. We thought the book would be closed for good. We thought this day would never come. We were wrong. Interesting thing, it's like someone's pressing backspace on the music. You peer into the crystal ball. Dot, dot, dot. Many moons ago, there existed a mystical blade so large and powerful. Hey, giggity. <laughs> giggity. So many innuendo jokes to be made from that. Oh, that is a pretty good size sword. That it would spell certain doom for humanity if it was ever stolen. I love this music of this game. The matron, she... She wanted to find this majestic sword and use it to pleasure herself. <gasps> Blasphemy. After years of searching... Only to come up to- <laughs> Oh god, so much in your window. Oh, she managed to locate the sword. So now she's wet? Pry it from the hardened stone. Oh god. Too easy. Willing its great power, the Matron sought to destroy humanity by drowning them in cum. I mean, what? Okay, we we've gone far enough with the vulgar jokes. Enter Cyrus the Magnificent. Really? Really? Yes, that's his actual name. <laughs> his parents named him Cyrus the Magnificent. His purpose, to banish the matron and to protect the few who remained. After the Great War, he managed to seal her away in an icy crystal. But even a mighty wizard such as Cyrus was no match for the darkness. Uh oh. Oh god, oh god, oh god. X is everywhere! With the crystal shattered, the Matroid was freed from her prison with the power of the X! They somehow came for Metroid Fusion. No one knows what became of Cyrus. Not a trace of him remains. Poor guy. Dot, dot, dot. Some say Cyrus will come back for us. So, Cyrus is Jesus then? You know, he died and he'll come back? That, I cannot believe. And I don't know how I ever... This sounds a lot like Jesus. Jesus will come back. I don't know if I can believe you. Okay, now we get to press any T key to continue. My name is Brutus. I'm a paladin of Sonine descent. Born to a pair of passionate but extremely dull thespians. Oh, God. Raised by a hedgehog. I... Sonic! <laughs> Raised by a hedgehog. You love gold rings way too much. Not being all I can be has always been my biggest regret. I don't know that I'd ever regret that. Enjoy scatting? Not really. I always do that, though. I always contemplate the meaning of life, the universe, and all. My tongue tastes like... I will eat the chicken because chicken is my inspiration. Hey, a woman is humming in front of me. I'm sure if I'm seeing illusion, I punch... Oh! What? Oh! Oh, that's painful. Punching myself... Oh, God. I feel, I feel your pain. Take these items. I'm not sure who gave them to me, but they're items. You don't say. Quickly, you must head to gate 16. I have three heavy bags of gold pieces. Oh, here's the thing. Your stat, your class, and whatever does not limit what you can equip. Uh, so we have a normal AQ staff, so we're going to press E to equip it. Because right now, we're not doing anything with our fists. And we'll give wisdom and dexterity. So now we have to reach gate 16. As you can see, uh, if you press a number, it'll per enter your destination. Really doesn't apply all that much there. If we press E, we see our character, um, name, weapon, armor, shield, charm, and then it gives our stats, our vitality, strength, intelligence, dexterity, wisdom. Our HP is at the bottom, our attack is, for some reason, varies. 
Uh, magic points and our gold. We can view the game manual. Not going to do that. We can see our inventory and assign masteries. And if we press C, it gives us all that again. So A to go back. Uh, you can press S to save your game. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Zero takes us to the main menu and P exits. So we're going to go ahead and... Our quest is to reach gate 16, so we're going to do that. A measly blue slime inches towards us, and this is a boss fight. Um, blue slime. A me <laughs> measly blue slime is blocking our path, and the blue slime laughs at our measly weapon, eh? So, yeah. Um, you press 1, 2, 3, and 4 to do combos. If you press 1, that's a basic attack. Uh, then you can do a linker. And then a third linker. And then your finisher. I always just go one, two, three, three. And then after you've done an attack, you do see that it changes to reposition. You can do that and regain magic. And you can see we also have, uh... Oh, I just repositioned. Okay, something else I should explain. Uh, it's too much going on. Uh, you can see 4 heals us, which I'm gonna... No, I'm not gonna need to do that. Um, you see that right after the attack, you see it has starter. You can start with any one of these. Uh, number 3 just goes straight to your finisher. So basically your attacks go starter to to linkers to another linker to a finisher. That's the most efficient way. The name's Diane. Take the grassy road to the north. You may find your true calling there. Good luck. The matron must be stopped. What? Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you telling me that I have to go fight this uber powerful chick that not even this supposedly Cyrus the Great guy could defeat? Are you fucking out of your goddamn mind? We conquered the blue slime, obviously, just like any RPG winning that you experience and gold. Oh, item drop. Let's see what we got. Uh, we got a charm, the Greater Truffle Stick Amulet, which has a defensive rating of 1 and gives us wisdom and vitality. We're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to equip everything we get at first. And, of course, with experience comes levels and level ups. Okay. Level ups. Um, we have, obviously, our 5 stats. We can put stat points in there. And each stat point will also give us something else. Like, for example, vitality will give us uh, more vitality will give us uh, more of a healing percentage on our maximum health, as well as increasing our maximum health. Uh, strength increases our damage and our life on hit. Intelligence increases damage, uh, max MP, and a 1% heal effectiveness currently. Uh, dexterity increases our crit chance and, for, uh, and evasion. And wisdom increases damage and HP and MP regeneration. Um, let's see. We're going to put two in strength and two in vitality. We have a passive skill point. Um, right now we have a 0% chance to restore 25 HP. If we focus all of our skill points in upgrading our max HP, not only will we increase our stats, but we also, as you can see, like for example, upgrading max HP gives a, will slowly increase our chances to restore 25% HP. Uh, upgrading attack will give us a chance to bleed enemies, um, which will make them take damage every turn. Not always a good thing. Uh, if we upgrade our max MP, uh, we obviously have a chance to restore max MP and armor to block enemies. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade armor. And mastery points. This is where your weapon comes in. 
depending on how your mastery points are, you could have a really pow for example, you could have a really powerful blade, but if you have more in your mace maul and your blunt mastery, well, that means you're just gonna be better with maces and mauls. So we're gonna go ahead and increase blade mastery by two. And our guy's gonna focus on blades and heavy mastery, so. I'm gonna save. Um, we're gonna go for a little bit. Charge a lot, skeleton is holding a potato. If you get ambushed by a boss, the only thing to do is cry. These hands sometimes are helpful, usually they're not. Oh, we killed the skeleton in two hits. Hey there, welcome. Hey there, welcome to West Haven. The name's Blacksmith. Have you ever wanted to explore secret areas around here? Of course you do. If you ever see X or 8 in the background, press the corresponding key. This will allow you to go to the aforementioned secret areas. Anyway, let me show you this ridiculously long scroll to unlock your ultimate. Be careful of the terminal! It's guarding that gate leading to the camp. We unlocked ultimate and feral ultimate. As a paladin, our feral lash temporarily gives us infinite mana. So if we go to gate 17, that's a boss fight. Um, so what we're going to want to do, we are going to want to, um, obviously, level up before we fight the boss. Because this thing is powerful. As you can see, Grassy Fields is recommended level 1 through 5. Uh, boss is unknown. But we have a couple of new options. If you press R, I'm not actually going to go through with it, and then press Enter, that'll heal you up. But you only have three of them. You gain more as you level up, but other than that, you have to buy them. And if we go to the Blacksmith, um, he has quests for us. He sells us some equipment. And if we have Scrap Metal, we can redeem two of them, and he'll make us an item, a weapon. So let's see what he has. Oh! This is a rarer weapon. I'm gonna purchase that. Let's see what he has. That's a mace. No thanks. Smelting this one since you obviously don't want it. We press three. Uh, this weapon is inferior to what we have. Wheeling this one out back. And if we press T when we're in an area like this, we can talk to the person. You ever been to Silverports? I don't think I could ever go back there. So what do you do? I'm a blacksmith, buddy. What do you think I do? Hey, just an honest question. Heh, honest? I haven't seen that in a long time. Enchantment? Enchantments! Just kidding, I only work with metal. What's the deal with that woman? Watch your tongue, that's Diana the Light's Watch. What's the Light's Watch? You think Cyrus almost defeated the Matron by himself? He had help. Oh, I want to tell more. I'm just a blacksmith, man. Go talk to him. Where is the fucking scholar? Seen the latest patch notes? What? No, leather patches. Ha <laughs> ha! Breaking the third wall. What's your name, anyways? Why do you want to know? I'm a curious person. I'd rather not tell. Why so secretive? I don't get close to people. They have a habit of dying on me. We'll die a lot. The matron has done unspeakable things. You better not lose. Drop by to chat. Oh, you're quite the charmer. Chat away. Why am I here? You'll have to talk to Diane about that. I just hammer metal. So informative, blacksmith. Okay, um... I'm gonna go to the character. I wanna be something. And that's rarities. Um, oh wow! Rarities increase the range of stat rolls on an item. Common is 45% of the... 45% uh, of the weapons of the game are common. 25% are uncommon. 20% are rare. 5% are exotic. 4% are mythic, which includes that sword that we have. And 1% are legendary. So I wanted to explain that real quick. We're gonna go back. Um, we're gonna do one more thing. I'm gonna go to the blacksmith. I think. No, hang on. Let me maybe inventory has it. 
Oh, we have nothing. Um, we're gonna go ahead and activate his quest, which usually he just asks you to bring stuff. I'm currently in need of one palladium. Let me know if you have some. And he'll give us awesome stuff. As you can see where it's red text, we can't complete it. Um, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do, since the battles on this are kind of boring, um, in between this episode and the next episode, I'm gonna get up to about, hopefully, maybe level 6 or 7-ish. And, uh, I'm just gonna do that. And then, the next time we'll continue with opening gate 17 and fighting the boss. Gonna save. Uh, so guys, this has been Rockhawk64, this has been Let's Play Sanctuary RPG uh, Fan Game Saturday. Please check out the links below, including the link to Sanctuary RPG, where you can download, um, well, it'll give, it'll take you to Black Shell Games, where you can download Sanctuary RPG and many other awesome games. Um, so far as I understand, at least Sanctuary works this way, the games are free to play, however, if you donate, you can get your name in the credits and everything. Um... I've, um, my name is actually in the credits. Uh, so guys, again, Sanctuary RPG. Uh, so, yeah, just gonna close this out now. So this has been Rockhawk64 with Sanctuary RPG. Just remember guys to have fun with life and enjoy it too. Uh, please support Black Shell Games, and I'll see you all in the next game. So until then, peace out.